So this is from Hal Turner. Loudspeakers leave the city by November 7th. Something is hugely wrong and it appears something wicked is truly in the works. Cars with loudspeakers are driving all through Curson, warning citizens they must evacuate the city by November 7th. The Russian army is using loudspeakers to tell people in the city of Kherson that the Ukrainian army is approaching. Evacuation of the city has been ongoing for over a week. The main administration building took down its Russian flag as seen in the image below. City workers have been going door to door telling citizens the Ukrainian army is coming and you must get out immediately. I think what I want to do is I want to talk just for a second. I wrote this out and it's very close to my heart because I was down there and I watch our police and our firemen down on 7-Eleven, down the World Trade Center right after it came down. And I So I'm looking at the tour calendar. Eight. And here's November 7th, which just happens to hit on the 11th of the eighth month. 811 was the number that Christina always talked about. So no, no, November 7th is the 11th. Now what's interesting is on this calendar, November 11th is from the 15th to the 16th. Now the flood really starts on the 17th. And that World War III prophecy was for the November 11th. But look at this. This I've, Every year I look at this, and here we are, Viera. Look what it means. And he appeared. And he appeared. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's talking about Jesus, but... Interesting words for that day, November 11th, the possible beginning of World War III. So here's the blood moon on the 8th. And November 11th, 7 -11, interesting that it also has an 11 on it as well. And so question is, was was Trump pointing to this day, 7-11, like the days of Noah, Genesis 7-11? Genesis 7-11, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. So the second month and the 17th day is when the flood started and on the calendar this year, as I've mentioned before, this will take place. The anniversary will be on November 11th, which is three days after this blood moon eclipse. So the connection with the, the time they have to leave this Kyrson in Ukraine is on the 11th month and the seventh day. So we have a, a 7 11 or 11 7. And I, there's a real possibility that this is connected to why uh, President um, Trump at the time said that he was there on 7 11 at the World Trade Centers. What was he referring to? Could it be the next major catastrophe on November 7th this year in Kyrgyzstan? Could it ignite a nuclear exchange is my question. Very possible, very possible on the heels of the anniversary of when the flood took place in the days of Noah. Tuesday, November 8th, 20, 
22, the moon will pass through the shadow of the earth, resulting in a total lunar eclipse. So I want to read you further down a little bit, because what's interesting is when I started YouTube, somewhere in the beginning there, around sometime in 2000, I think it was in 15, this happened. Um, I heard in my spirit the words, something wicked this way comes. And oddly enough, a few other people also heard it right around the same time. And so when I was reading this, I, you know, I looked at below further down this article. Um, it says, if a nuke exchange takes place on November 7th, then it is all scripted. Whoever is right, all these things seem to be telling us all that something wicked this way comes. If true, we have until Monday, November 7th. So because that word just came out of nowhere, dropped my spirit way back then, and there was a strong sense of doom coming, but you know, at the time we didn't know it would be years away. However, the way things are looking now and with the timing of everything going on in the Bible, in the world, I'm thinking something wicked this way comes could be the very word that does point to this day. And if so, it's going to be astronomically horrifying, okay, for the world, for the unbeliever. So... You know, all I can say is that if this is, if this is it, then make sure you're saved by Jesus Christ, by believing in who he is, the, the Lamb of God, sinless, came to the world, the Son of God, died on the cross, was buried rose on the third day to life to conquer death, hell, and the grave and shed his blood for your sins. If you believe that and you receive it, receive him as your personal savior who died for your sins because the Bible says we're all sinners. We're all in need of a savior. We all fall short of the glory of God. I would say this is the time to do it. If this is what God was pointing to then, and I haven't seen this something wicked this way comes. I haven't seen this written in anything since then. And this isn't looking good. Anyway, look at it. This is not looking good for whatever the heck is going on over there in Kyrgyzstan. Okay, but we know that the nuclear exchange is going to take place soon. And this could be, this could be it. I want to close with this. Kim Fisher also had a major dream about November 7th. And it was four years ago that she had it. She said she saw November 7th everywhere. And so, you know, the odds of that and this happening now, um, it's just all very interesting. This is four years later too, just like the fig tree four year delay and so I wanted to bring that to your attention. She posted that one tonight. So everybody, um, take care, everyone. God bless you. Keep looking up. Our redemption draweth nigh. Keep praying for everybody. This is These are the last moments before the rapture to get saved. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely any day now. I don't know which day here, but I believe it's, it's uh, literally at the door. Okay. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon.